The feeling in a cover reveal is hard to be objectified. From the happy small talks I get to have the new people I meet, hoping that one day they don't end up being the cover of the next one. I'm so sad seeing you go. It's a full balloon of anger in the cover's intimate mouth, ready to be popped by a leadership comment concerning the cover. And one film that I will describe a cover reveal. Only that the characters in this particular film are sad and confused, questioning their character arc and runtime. It's only that this noir film doesn't have a post credit scene like the Marvel movies we used to love. It's okay, don't have fun, if only a fairy gave me a wish now, I will choose not to understand about the cover. I wish it was as if I was little and the new friend I made suddenly moved away after that we played together, leaving a pang of sadness nonetheless an indelible memory. System. Pain is relative and yet I stand gel close to my friend with a snow white hot waxy candle burning my right hand fingers and switching the pain on her shoulder with my left hand watching my friend locked in a room inside her head and I don't have the keys to get in. Objectifying jealousy is daunting, but that doesn't seem so for labyrinth. I'm jealous of the rest the cover finds while I struggle to get a footnote mention. I'm jealous of the peace the cover receives at the white gates knowing they did well on earth. I'm jealous of the happiness the cover finds hearing the golden trumpets play as they enter. I'm jealous of the safety the cover has whereas I have to work hard to get out of this Gotham city. Here, there's no signal that illuminates the dark night. All we have are the redundant battles of our honest opinions through our expensive black mirrors, hoping someone will press the red button like those in the movies of change. But all you can do is remain in prayer. The underrated youth. Light.